hello people and amazing people how are you holding hope you are doing good because me myself i'm doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how we harvest process and smoke cartridge in my school farm actually the thing was time but i'm going to be taking you through everything within five minutes so just make sure you wash it to the hand so here is the pond before any activities was done you can see the fish were moving they were playing and after that the nets was removed and they drink the water i'm very sorry for not showing you that part then the coordinator has for four people that will enter into the pond meanwhile we are using four people just because the pond is not really big but if it is a big pond more than four people can enter but maximum of 10 people is enough so four guys has entered and one guy had a hand and one guy had the other hand. Then two guys are the middle. They put the net down into the water and make sure that their hand reached the bottom of the pond. Then they started dragging it from one hand of the pond to the other hand. Then they raise it up together. Then they raise it up together and use the water to wash the debris. Then put it down into a bowl you can see you can see the way they are doing it so they've cast the fish they've cast the fish so so these activities was repeated because the fish we harvested was much and they need to repeat it before they can harvest the remaining fish so let's move to the next phase in order not to waste the time and here is the next stage we were has to weigh and count it and the reason for weigh is to know their feed conversion ratio maybe they really convert the feed that we gave them during rearing into weight or not and the reason for counting is to be assured maybe the predators or poachers has affected it or not you know what by the you know when you stock there was a number that you stock and during affect you need to count and check maybe something has happened to it or not for you to take note of it in your next production and here we are moving into the processing so instead of you using knife or something to harm your fish something that you can just open the sack small then add salt into heat then, then tie the sack back and leave it for like 10 minutes trust me they will have died before you open it back in the next 10 minutes so salt does three function here it kills them it reduces slime and also it gives them a better taste so i guess this is the best way to kill your cat fish so after 10 minutes we remove this fish from sack and they have died then we started gutting so here we are has to give it a total gutting and the reason for this is that it's going to improve its shelf life and as well give it that beautiful freshness you can see the way i'm doing it so <laughs> don't mind me here we are at the next stage where we are has to pour more water on it and be using stick to roll it then three reason was gave for doing it like this which is to remove the slime to remove the hiding blood and then to less the muzzle so that it can be easy to fold this activity was repeated for like three or four times because the slime on the face was so much and we need to remove it so that it can be easier to fold so here we are folding you can see the way we are doing it and so we are almost done ready to go into the oven we are almost done ready to go into the oven you can see the way it is so it's already in the oven and it's going to spend something like 24 hours here just for it to be wet dried and it's going to be checking from time to time not to be born so here is a final stop you can see the way it's beautiful hey oh my god hey can you give us a clap for oh, yeah, clap for us now oh. So guys, this will be the end of this video and I'm sure you love it. So just subscribe to my channel for you to be notified every time I drop a new video.